hi guys my name is Dan welcome to my channel today we're going to do a tutorial on Photoshop on how to put an image inside text and to make it look appealing so here are two examples or three examples that you can see let's start here this is my girlfriend Ivy so I've put the name the name Ivy and then I've masked her picture and removed the background and then I've put it inside the letter second example is here this is D and J and this is me right here and here's another example F this is Ivy uh, so to create something like this you'll need to open a new Photoshop file and make sure it has the same dimensions in terms of width and height we we'll shall use pixels make it something like 1280 by 1280 background can be white you can change things later on and press on create so after we are here we can add a letter we can go to the type tool and add something like let's put B the same B that was there in our previous example and then click on the hand tool tap on click twice to make the screen fit and then go back to your selection tool Make sure your layer is selected and press Ctrl T to resize and free transform the layer. So we'll make the letter something that we like. Something right there. And then you can adjust the fonts by going to the property folder, property section of the layer. If you can't find your property sections, you need to go to Windows and make sure property is enabled. Okay. So let's change the font to something that we that we like. Okay, I'll go with something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like this one. So press Control A as long as you're in the same layer, and then using a selection tool, center by clicking on these items, and then go to select and click on this deselect to disable the matching ads so right now we want to import the image that we're gonna use um, let's go we can pick something like something like this one we drag and drop it onto Photoshop we resize the picture to what we like once you're done, press on, on OK. And then we can try and disable these other layers and come and remove the background from this picture. You can use any selection tool for now, such as the quick selection tool. Use the zoom tool to zoom in. OK. And then I'll, I'll go to the selection tool and I'll try to take sections of her Okay, once you've selected everything, you want to go to select and inverse the selection, which will make us select the rest of the layer except what you have masked. And then make sure your layer is rasterized and then press on delete or control X. And then I'll go to select and deselect to see her, to see her cutout image. And then I'll activate the other layers, okay. So once we have her here, we'll want to put the layer with the letter right above her and reduce the opacity. And then come back to her layer, use Ctrl T to resize and try to see where you like. I think the picture will look good. Mm -hmm. I can flip it horizontally, put it like this. Okay, but I prefer it like this. Once you're done, press OK and then re re return the opacity to 100 and then make sure the image is above the letter 
in terms of the layer. And then you can press right click and then create a click mask. When it's right there, you can see that things have changed. Then we can go back to this layer and change the color. I want to pick the brick red or the dark red color. So I've saved the code here. Yes, it is. Okay, I think I like it. And then once it looks like this, we can go ahead and duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl J. And then once we're here, we want to create a mask and then take a brush tool. Click on the hand tool. Okay, that looks so good. You can later on add this in one group, the letter and everything. Press Ctrl G. It's the text with image. The name. And then to make the, the image look good, you can add some additional texts around. Like here, we can put, we can write the future. Okay, happy Women's Day. You can go to the properties folder of this text tool and select a font like imprint. Looks good. And then you want to duplicate this layer several times. And change where it's located. Okay, like, like this one. Go to the bottom one, change. Okay, I think this looks good to me. Okay, now the second example you're going to do is something like this. This is Ivy, my friend, once again. You want to use something like letter F, and then this is a picture we took her somewhere last year. So let's go to it. Let's start. So you want to open, okay, sorry. So you want to open a new Photoshop file, go to new, and then Make sure that it's on pixels, something uniform. You can also make it 900 by 900. And create it. Actually, it fits well. So we're going to start by adding the, a letter. So go to the type tool, click on the screen and add letter F here. Use the move tool, the selection tool, and then you want to press Ctrl T to free transform this layer. So I think I like it here. Now to center it, you can press Ctrl A. Using a selection tool, come and click on these bars, and then you should deselect to remove these matching ants. And then let's go and add a font you want to use for this letter. Once again, I'm going to use the letter F with the font imprint. I think I like it a lot. So if we transform it. Okay, now I'm going to import my image. It's right here. And then drag and drop. So when it's there, you, you might want to remove the background first. So I'll press enter and then hide the other layers below pick a selection tool such as the quick selection tool zoom in using the zoom tool use the hand tool to control where you want the screen at and then with the selection tool you can start making the brush big
so guys once you are done with the selection you want to go to select and then inverse the selection to choose everything that's not what we have masked and then you can press ctrl x you know ctrl x doesn't work you can press delete but make sure the layer is rasterized then i press delete everything goes away go to select and select to remove the matching ants and then you can activate the other layers and using ctrl t put this image where you feel like you like it to resize okay I'm going to flip right click and flip it horizontally and when it's here I'll put I'll use my arrow keys okay I think I'm satisfied with the selection we can now go and adjust the text layer we can change the color I'm going to use the dark red so I'm gonna type the hex hexagonal code for it <laughs> okay Gina any tricks hexagonal code no it's not hexagonal it's no okay I don't know what I'm saying so once the image is right there select the image right click and create a clipping mask right here the image is inside so we can go further ahead and duplicate this layer and then on this upper layer, you need to see what happens. You can add a mask. And then using a brush tool, we can, we can go through deleting what you want. Okay, I think it looks good. So I'm going to put all these in one layer. I'll select here, hold shift, and this last layer, and then press Ctrl G to put them in one group. I'll name it letter plus image. And then we can come later on and add some, a few things to make this picture look interesting. So with the type tool, I'm going to type something like together or let me use the letter F with something like fortunate. We can see it because the background is white and the text has a white color. So you can go to the properties folder, change the color to black. And then I'll change the font to something simple. Something like, let's go down. Jill's Sand, yes, I like this font. And then I'm going to increase the canning. So you can have this white background or you can unlock this background. Go to the bucket tool, the paint bucket tool, and then you can select a color on the swatch chase or on the color menu. I'll take this dark blue and paint it like that. And then we can change to see what works for us. Make sure it's a paint bucket tool. Paint bucket tool is selected. And go and change seeing what you like so you can add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and let's see
okay i don't like these ones so we are going to leave it out there with a white background paint bucket tool yes i think this looks good this is the example we just did right now so see you next time and thank you for watching this tutorial